Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It is Wednesday, the 11th, uh, 5th, sorry, the 15th of November. These are the charts of the day, and we had a kind of mixed day, consolidation day, sloppy day, but a lot of stocks we followed did well today. Look at ASTS, something I haven't seen in a while, but notice the surge back up to resistance there. Then a pullback retest of the moving average and price support. Today was a big spike up blowout from 385 to 494. Finished at 471 of 94 cents, a 25% gain. Volume picked up to the best we've seen in weeks, not months. Likely we get a follow through to five and a half and seven. Those are my targets. And America, real explosive move in the last three days. Has taken this one from 496 to today's high at 750 in just three sessions and right at resistance. May see a little bit higher level near seven and three quarters before we back off. But if you blow through there, momentum might take you to nine and a quarter and a half. Blaze had a spectacular spike up after a July to November drop that saw it go from four and a half down to two and change, cut in half. It broke out, we tested, and then it spiked up a week ago. Stalled for two days and then ran again. This morning, after taking a dip, it came right back with a very big bullish engulfing bar. Close at the upper end of the range up only 15 cents or four and a quarter percent, but it's at resistance here. At today's high, we get to that, we're looking at four and a half and five. Blink also is sp spiking up from 241 to 454, almost doubling in four days. A little mini inverse head and shoulder bottom. And a declining top sign, which is break broken out three, four days ago. Its stock has gone vertical. It may reach the five quarter range before it backs up, but secondary target is seven. DRCT, Digital Direct, exploded, ran, stalled, held the two day lows today at around 455.7, and then went right off the five and three quarters, finishing at the high for the day. Or very near it within a penny of 81 cents, 16 and a half percent. Strong chart. Now looking at a February retest or February high retest, which got us up to 653, your next target. Should you get through that, you're looking at a new all time high territory. Etsy, in a big downtrend, we may have popped out across resistance today with a pop of 336 or 5 percent. Extension targets are 77 and 81 too. EXPE, massive brace breakout, a year and a half long base. Popped a week ago, wedged, and then today exploded to 134. At this rate, I would look for an extension to at least 150.55. Figs, popped out a week ago and pulled back. Today, it snapped right back. 57 cents or almost 10%. And Vine picked up. OBV is rising. I'm looking for a retest of seven and a quarter. And then we're running up to eight and a half. IBRX, after a beautiful surge, it saw go from a dollar and a quarter to four, and then pulled back down to about two and three quarters. Right back up in the last four days to get back to 409. Today gaining 46 cents or almost 13%, 600,000 plus. Strong unbalanced volume tells me we go higher. Five and a half and six and a half, three quarters of your targets. At Kostovic broke out yesterday, had a beautiful follow through today. Uh, it's a lightly traded stock, but the OBV is rising and the stock should test 10 and a half, 11 zone short term. KNTE exploded on monster volume of 72 million shares. Never traded that in its history. This is a massive long term decline from 13 and a half to one and change. 104 was the low about a month ago, but in the last three days it's gone from $1.15 to today's high. At 267, and doesn't look done yet. My next target is 3, 3, 15, 20, and then four and a quarter. Pinduo Duo, one of the strongest Chinese stocks out there, has gone from 59 to 115 since May, and it continues to look higher. My next target at the top of the channel, 186. It's a long way from here. So it's 150, 186 targets. PTX snap back over cross resistance after getting crushed in September and October. And not think there's a possibility we see it just run back into the seven and three quarters eight range. Wolf, mini inverse head and shoulders is your left shoulder, head, right shoulder. The neckline broke today and so did the moving average, and it finished above it, getting 374, 11.5%. And, 
at 6 million shares. This looks like a stock that could extend. This is a new swing, targeting 41 and 46.7. Let's look at some of the stocks and new swings at thetextrader.com. Good night, everybody.